All right, let's uh, carry on and finish this one. And pardon me for the interruptions in my office, but um, it was a good spot to break up the length of the video, I suppose. Um, okay, so we see here that this carbon has uh, a double bond and a single bond and another single bond. So the number of effective electron groups around here, I'm really counting as three because I count that as, as a one because it's based on repulsion. And actually, um, it makes sense that we draw these things in a line angle fashion this way because if you look at this carbon, you can kind of see that it looks rather planar and it's depicted quite well with a 120 degree angle. So uh, with three groups, it is S, one part S, two parts P. So you would combine an S and two P's to form an S, what's called an sp2 hybrid orbital, and you would have three of them. So there are three sp2 hybrid orbitals that carbon uses to make all of these single bonds. It's using something else. Actually, it's using a leftover P to indirectly overlap with that carbon to complete the double bond. But that is the subject uh, where you will start, I think, in January in the next course. So um, the bond angle, 120, 120, 120. The hybridization state of the carbon is sp2. The electron group geometry is trigonal planar. And the molecular geometry is also trigonal planar. Um, carbons are easy because they don't have any lone pairs. And we notice that when there's no lone pairs, the electron group geometry is the same as the molecular geometry. Yeah, so if you've noticed that, that's good because it makes it go much faster. So just by inspection, you know, oh, three, trigonal planar, sp2. This one, trigonal planar, sp2. What about this oxygen? One, two, three, four, sp3. Electron group geometry would be tetrahedral because it's four groups. Two of them are lone pairs, so this is just bent. So I have, uh, let's go around this ring and just mark, uh, just note the molecular geometry. So starting here, tetrahedral, 109.5, trigonal planar, about 120, trigonal planar, about 120, trigonal planar, about 120, bent, a little less than 109.5. So we draw it with you know a nice shape, but actually these angles are not the same all the way around. And the last one, we could do this oxygen here. A carbonyl oxygen has one, two, three, remember? Yes, it has two, four, six, eight. The octet is satisfied, but in terms of effective electron pairs to determine the hybridization state or the electron group um, geometry, and I wouldn't do geometry around here because it's an outer atom. I only do geometries on ones that, that um, are bonded to, to more than one, so they're locally central. So I'm um, this oxygen here, I don't describe at all. Um, I could maybe give you a formal charge on it, 6 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's a 0. But other than that, there's really nothing to describe on this carbonyl oxygen because it's an outer atom. Okay, we just do geometries and hybridization states on ones that are low, that can form an angle. This can't form an angle and be in the center because there's nothing on this side. It's part of this angle, it's part of this angle, but, but those angles have a central atom of this guy, and we've just done that. So we won't consider him at all. Okay, so I think that we've described lots on this molecule, and um, and we can move to the next one. So yeah, I think we'll we'll just keep this tape rolling, as they say. These other two on the page we did in class, so I'm going to skip over those. And let's do. So we have the back of this page, and on the back of the page, the next one we had written is uh, actually benzene. This is a benzene ring. I'm going to redraw it because I because I do have the room to do so. Um, so it's a six-membered ring. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, with alternating single and double bonds. So double, single, double, single, double. And that's actually called uh, conjugation, alternating single and double. It's a conjugated system. Um, as a ring, it's called an aromatic ring. And there are actually two resonance structures to benzene because the same structure could be written with the alternating single and double bonds shifted by one. And so there are two resonance structures for benzene, which is why we usually draw benzene or a benzene ring in as part of another structure, like there. We usually draw it, there we go, <clears throat> like this. And that's why, because this kind of combines the two possible resonance structures. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so um, it doesn't matter which one we choose. So let's, let's do this one. And um, why don't you figure out what is the hybridization state on each carbon? So you're counting, right? And did you notice there's something missing yet? Yeah, those, the checkpoints that you need to do, because it, it won't say part A, do this, part B, do that, and then finally part C, what's the hybridization state? It's just going to say what is the hybridization state in the question. You need to know that when you're given a structure, to really make everything obvious. So look, two, this is two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. See how each of these carbon actually have a hydrogen on. There you go. Each carbon does. And so now I can see that carbon has, each carbon has four bonds. Mm -hmm. And um, what is the number of electron groups on each carbon? They're all the same. One, two, three. I'm only counting the multiple bond as, as one. And so each carbon is sp2. Each carbon has both an electron group and a molecular geometry of trigonal planar. So if, if that that plane is part of this plane is part of this plane and so on and so on the whole thing is a flat disk it is it, it is and um, what we we may have time to see in our final lecture because it's a really wonderful thing to to find out is uh, we'll talk about maybe the ring current that exists here. But as far as the final exam goes, um, this is what you should be able to do. Okay. I think that we could probably do this one right away because it's similar and we're getting better at doing this. So we're getting faster at doing it. Okay. So I have a benzene ring here. So I know that that's a carbon carbon, carbon. So let's draw in our carbons. And here is one. I know there's a bond there. I know there's a carbon there. And I know there's a carbon there. We often forget about that one. Um, after I draw in the carbons, the next thing I want to do is to make sure that carbon has four bonds. One, two, three, four. And if I need one, I use hydrogen only. One, two, three, four is good. That's good. That's good. But this one has a hydrogen. So does this one. And so does this one. And this carbon is fine. Oh, and this one needs three hydrogens. And then the next thing I want to do is to add lone pairs. I know that my carbon is fine with its octet of electrons being satisfied with four bonds. But oxygen and nitrogen in particular and, and sulfur, we'll see that as well, especially on our amino acid um, examples. It also needs an octet, and I've got two, four, and so I'll put six, eight. Two, four, because I do know there's a shared pair to hydrogen. Four, and I need two here, and I need two here, 
And now I've got a really good um, Lewis structure. And now I can answer all these questions. So let's do it one at a time. Let's first do the electron group. Let's go around the molecule and do the electron group geometry. Okay? So um, what is it here? Three groups, so it's trigonal planar, trigonal planar, trigonal planar, trigonal planar, all the way around the ring. Up here, trigonal planar, not central, skip. Electron group geometry, one, two, three, four, tetrahedral. Electron group geometry, one, two, three, four, tetrahedral. One, two, three, trigonal planar. Four, tetrahedral, not a central atom. Skip it. Now let's go through again and do the molecular geometries. Trigonal planar all the way through this ring. Trigonal planar, not central. Uh, the molecular geometry, bent. Molecular geometry, bent. Trigonal planar, not central. Tetrahedral. Hybridization state, sp2, this oxygen, sp3. Each carbon in the ring, the aromatic ring, sp2. This oxygen, sp3. This carbon, sp2, not central. This carbon, sp3. A couple of bond angles. 120, 120, 120, 120, less than 109.5, 120 all around, 109.5 all around, and we're done. Neat, huh? So. This is a flat part of the molecule. All of this is in the same plane. But the hydrogen is bent out. So that's all in the same plane. But then there's a kink here because this is now bending into, into or out of the plane. And then it's flat. And then it has a 3D tetrahedral structure. All right, a couple more.